Hey everyone, new topic for Ryan on Gaming. Today's topic comes from Jeff Quartz. He says, Ryan, why do we gamers like graphics? Because they are nice to look at? Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like when people say they are interested in a game because of the graphics, there must be something about graphics that has yet to be said. I really can't put my finger on why we like graphics so much. Think you could help me out. That's a really good topic. Um, now, I'm one of the kind of people that would probably argue that you don't see that that often. People fascinated that much by graphics. Now, of course, we all like to see pretty stuff. Uh, when we see uh, the first time we Uncharted 4 or Horizon Zero Dawn when we first saw that at E3. Uh, anything that is definitely good looking, uh, our instant reaction is to say that, wow, it looks really pretty. Um, and that's usually because that's the only thing we can really say about the game until we actually get it in our hands. We can't say the game's fun. We can't say it has a great story. We can't say um, anything about it until we actually play it. But the one thing we can always comment on is how the game looks typically. And games usually nowadays are looking pretty damn good. Um, so it's one of those things where even though that's the first thing we can really judge about a game, a lot of people still like are are of the same mind where it's like, you know, graphics aren't everything, gameplay is king, gameplay is the most important part of games, and that's absolutely true. Uh, but it, it definitely goes into a bigger distinction uh, for certain people when it comes to playing a game just because it looks pretty, and a lot of people can't do that, uh, but some people actually can do that. I'm one of those people who, more, more often than not, I can play a game um, just because it looks really nice and I can deal with subpar gameplay or something that isn't particularly fun But if I have something like story or a really just graphically beautiful looking game I can kind of nudge, nudge through it a little bit and there's a lot of people that do that um, But I feel like they're definitely the minority people need very compelling gameplay and that's you know That's that's pretty obvious obvious. I think I, I, don't, I don't think you need me to tell you that But is there a certain element about, about graphics that were that were missing here that people are so fascinated by and I don't know I mean, I don't I can't I don't think I can really find what you're pinpointing here but um, when you know when you talk about video games I think you know people always undermine one aspect about that 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 title video games games but there's also that video connotation to it right uh, video is a pretty important part of video games it's 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 the it's what you're looking at. It's a it's a completely you know 50% of, of of what video games are essentially. Of course, there's definitely an argue there because again, gameplay is most important. But you see what I'm saying, right? Uh, video is a big part of games. What you're looking at, you got to be at least a little bit enticed by what you're seeing and what your your eyes are, are witnessing. So that definitely plays a, a vital role for a lot of people. Um, Especially nowadays. I mean, we got a whole new generation of people that are coming into games that have never had a PlayStation 2 or that have never had a PlayStation 3 even, you know. Uh, they're buying Xbox Ones and, and PS4s right off the bat. Um, uh, you know, even like, you know, OG, OG people that, that did have a PS1 or PS2, they've graduated to PC and they're they're enjoying beautiful looking graphics and, and the amazing things they can do on PC. So people are definitely getting spoiled in a sense too. So why are we so obsessed with obsessed with graphics because it's it's the new hot thing right it's it's what it's all about it's the the advancement of technology shaders uh open world all that crazy stuff that makes a game look unbelievably jaw-dropping it's it's the big craze right now um Whereas, you know, like 15 years ago, 10 years ago, the big thing about games, I mean, of course, graphics was a big thing back then too. You know, you, you move from NES to SNES, uh, jumping like from, you know, to PS1. Those are big graphical jumps that definitely wowed people. But at the same time, that was also in a generation where gameplay was making big improvements. You know, you were jumping from 2D to 3D. All these different gameplay mechanics that were never even invented yet uh, were created in that time frame. So graphics played a big role, but they were kind of, you know, thrown aside by the fact that games were evolving in a much larger sense whereas nowadays nowadays you can't see that and I don't you know some people will use terms like next-gen gameplay which I, I hate shit like that because there is no such thing as next-gen gameplay or, or you know the kind of the the techno the technological advancements were you know what I'm saying the advancements in tech nowadays from like ps3 to ps4 there's no I just got another text message during a video the advancements uh, nowadays are strictly more or less graphic, right? You, there's no, the only kind of gameplay mechanics, the, the next gen gameplay you're gonna see is the actual original ideas of a de developer. Because arguably, we've had more than enough hardware power on consoles and PC to give you any sort of next gen mechanics you might be thinking of. Um, the only thing I can really argue there, the only other way you could not, you know, argue that is saying like, you know, you need more horsepower to get more on-screen enemies or something, create bigger environments, create, uh, you know, uh, a much bigger open world with no load times or something, but that's very minimal in a sense. Um, bigger, bigger advancements like, you know, 2D to 3D, an open world platformer, things like that, uh, 
those things are those things are the uh, the norm now. We you know developers have accomplished these things. So um, the big thing that you know th I think that's what you're kind of missing there. That's maybe that's what you're looking at is because we're kind of over like new gameplay mechanics. We're now looking for what games look really 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 good looking. Um, and that's definitely what fascinates people the most nowadays. And if anything, that's what makes new gameplay mechanics today that much more exciting because we've had the horsepower uh, nowadays to, to create something like that. So it's just a matter of waiting for a developer to come along and actually have an original idea for this, this new gameplay mechanic or this new form of gameplay that we've never seen before. So um, the, the case for why we're so fascinated with the graphics also makes a really good case for why we are that much more impressed when we see something new in the gaming landscape. I don't know if that answers your topic completely, but it definitely answered it for me when I read it and I thought to myself like, huh, that's a really good topic. What do I think about that? That's what I think about that. Anyway, that's about it for this episode of Ryan on Gaming. Uh, this is another great video where I've realized that I need to turn my fucking computer and phone off when I do videos because it's really rude when I have a text message going off. Um, or not rude, but you know, it's just, I don't know, it's a courtesy thing. Gotta be professional on here. Gotta try and do a little something nice for the internet, right? I try and do something for you guys nowadays. How about this? If I ever someday get super, super rich and famous, and I'm talking like really, really rich, not like a millionaire. I, I gotta be a billionaire for this. But if I ever bec become a billionaire, I'll send like courier pigeons to your house that personally delivers messages to you. And uh, I'll deliver a whole damn new iPhone or iPod or whatever ch choice of tablet, video player, whatever the fuck you want with my new video if I become a billionaire. So um, if you guys want to make me a billionaire, I will certainly reimburse that back to you with courier pigeons and the latest tech with videos of me. It's not the best sell in the world, but that's all I got. Okay, that does it for this topic. If you have a topic that you want me to do a video on, write it down in the comments below. And if it's good, I guarantee you I will do it at some point. Uh, that's it for me, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take it easy, guys.